Alright guys, welcome to your 57 C++ tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over a couple things. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of coding, so you guys just might want to put away your keyboard for this tutorial and just, you know, sit back and watch and learn. I'm going to be talking about something called a pure virtual function and also abstract classes, and actually they both go hand in hand, so, you know, you aren't really learning, you know, two totally new concepts. But let me go ahead and before I talk about a pure virtual function, let me explain to you guys what a regular virtual function does. So let's go ahead and before we even start, let's notice that this enemy class has an attack and this ninja class has an attack and this monster class has an attack. So let's go ahead and actually code something in this enemy class attack and let's code something like um, see out. I am the enemy class. I don't know, that's good enough. And let's go ahead and end that line. So let's go ahead and run this program and see what happens. It says ninja attack and monster attack. It works as we expected. So basically what a virtual function does is this. Whenever we're programming and using polymorphism, for example, if we made it if we made an object from the enemy class, it would go up let me explain this one more time. If we made an object from the enemy class and tried to use that attack function right here, what it would do is it would go up to the enemy class and call this attack function. But since this attack function is virtual, it would go back down and say, all right, it was a virtual function, which means I need to check what I'm pointing to. And if one of these derived class overwrites this attack function, then use that one instead. So that's why even though we inherited this attack function that says I am the enemy class we overwrote it in these derived class one of them says ninja attack and one of them says monster attack so since we overwrote it right here and since we're using polymorphism with virtual functions that virtual function checked and saw that we were indeed overwriting it and it used those more specific functions so now let me talk to you guys about what a pure virtual function is so let me go ahead and maybe this will be easier if I saw. If I go ahead and take out this attack, actually let me just go ahead and cut this from the monster class. Well this monster class is already inheriting an attack function from the enemy class. If it doesn't implement its own specific attack function, it inherits the default general I am the enemy class. So let's go ahead and run this and it says ninja attack had its own specific attack function but the monster attack did not so that's why I inherited the more general enemy class one simple enough so basically whenever you have a virtual function you have the option of overriding it but if you don't it's no big deal because we already have a function right here that we inherited but with a pure virtual function and before I start talking about that let me go ahead and paste this code right back in here a pure virtual function doesn't give you the option of inheriting from the base class. In order to make a pure virtual function, you don't have a body at all. And instead of a body right here, what you have is equals zero. So basically you're saying this virtual function, which we see equals zero instead of a body, is now a pure virtual function. And as you can see, a pure virtual function has no implementation whatsoever and by implementation I mean body and by body it means I mean it doesn't do anything so a pure virtual function doesn't do anything at all in one rule that you have any derived class that inherits from this from a class that has a pure virtual function in it it must must it needs to no exceptions it needs to overwrite that function so remember last I mean uh, yeah the last example I told you we had the option of taking this out and if we took it out it was no big deal it just used this attack function well now whenever you run it it says uh-uh you get an error message right here and the reason is because this you made a pure virtual function in C++ and the programmer made a deal he said alright programmer whenever you make a pure virtual function you need to overwrite it that's our deal so in this class alright you did a good job but in this class you didn't overwrite it at all so whenever I try to call this attack function right here nothing's happening equals zero so that's why whenever we use pure virtual functions we need to overwrite it so that can be good and bad depending on what you're 
going to try to program. If you want to make a game or something that, you know, if you don't want a monster to have a specific attack, it can just inherit the enemy attack, that's fine. Then you don't want to use this. But if you want to make a game with a bunch of different monsters or something, and you want each of those monsters to have a specific way of attacking, then you would want to use a pure virtual function because whenever you use a pure virtual function, it's going to make sure that you overrode it. So now that we overrode in both the ninja class and monster class, we're going to go ahead and run this and it's going to work just fine. And you're saying, all right, so I understand what a pure virtual function is, but what is an abstract class? Well, this is like the easiest thing you ever learn. An abstract class is just a class with a pure virtual function in it pretty easy huh so it took me like five minutes to describe what a pure virtual function was and then you know like five seconds to describe what an abstract class was so let's go ahead and recap one last climb one last climb one last clam no one last time all right abstract classes are just classes with pure virtual functions in them now whenever you make a pure virtual function you don't have a body you don't have curly braces you don't have any implementation whatsoever it's just a function that says any derived class needs to overwrite this function it's just kinda of checking to make sure you overwrite this function now regular virtual functions have the option of being overridden in the derived class so if this was just a regular virtual function then we can go ahead and take this attack out if we want or we can go ahead and include it but a pure virtual function we need to overwrite this attack function and give it you know some code to run we just can't you know run this equal zero or it's a computer is gonna flip out so basically before you can make an enemy object that use attack wait let me think how I'm gonna say this well Basically, I just said all I needed to say. I'm just going to, you know, tell you guys how it works in my program. But I think I just said everything I needed to say. So basically, well, you know, I'm not even going to do that because I just explained it like five times. So anyways, that is what a pure virtual function is. And all abstract classes is a class that has a pure virtual function in it. So I don't know if in the next uh, lesson I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a you know how to put polymorphism to use or we're going to be moving on to another subject but either way it's going to be amazing so stick with me and uh yeah we're almost done with polymorphism either way so if you know it's stressing you out just take a deep breath and uh, you know the end is near so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later